Hello, everybody. This is Young Family Tai Chi traditional form. We're working on section one. And today's new mood is going to be left brush knee. So hmm. I'd like to remind you that this month we were of the 10 essentials we were working on. This month we're supposed to be doing synchronizing upper and lower. And this move is a very good example of that. So I want you to keep that in mind while we're learning this move, okay? <coughs> Excuse me. So what we're gonna do first is we're going to review, uh, do the first section up to left brush knee. We'll do a little bit of review of what we had learned before. And I'd like in particular to look at some of the prior movements in terms of synchronizing upper and lower. And it may help you in learning this move as well. Okay? So I'm gonna turn around. Feet shoulders width apart, toes facing forward, head up, tailbone down, hands by your side. Prepare. Opening, rotate your arms and lift them up to shoulder level. Then press down almost to the bottom. Grasp the bird's tail. Ward off left, shift left, turn right, all the weight on the right, step and close, turn and shift weight. Ward off right, shift right, turn the left toe to the corner, pull left, ward off down right, all the weights on the left, pull in the right, Step and close, shift, weight, and separate. Roll back. Rotate your arms as you reach toward the corner. Circle back as your weight shifts back and you go to the other corner. Press, circle in the right, attach to the left, expand forward. Push. Square up your shoulders, flatten your hands. Come back over a ball, hands in front of your chest, and push up to shoulder level. Single whip. Shift back as you flatten your hands. Turn and pull all the way around. Release the left foot as you press down. Ward off with the left. Hook hand with the right, standing ward off, step, deflect, strike. Raise hands and step forward. Shift back, turn the left toe to the corner. Circle your arms as you push off the ball of the right foot. Root the right heel and close. White crane spreads its wings. Rotate your arms, pull down, all the weight goes to the back, circle your arms, step and close, turn, step and open. So the next move is going to be left brush knee. Okay, are there any questions on uh, what we've done so far? No? Okay. <clears throat> One of the things that I wanted to remind you of is when you're doing single whip. So you're pulling, you're pressing down, and you have ward off with the left and hook hand with the right. When you make your standing ward off, I want you to step 
And as you're turning to deflect, you're flattening out your foot and you're bending knee as you strike. So all of this is continuous, but I want you to get the hand in a certain position. <coughs> Excuse me, something in my throat. I want your hands to be in a certain position when your foot is in a certain position. So that's what I mean by synchronizing upper and lower. So when I'm here, I'm standing up and stepping, flattening as I turn my hand and striking as I bend my knee. And you're going to have a similar thing when you come to brush knee, okay? The other thing is that when you, um, well, a single whip is already relatively difficult in terms of changing direction and synchronization. Uh, left uh, and right brush knee are, um, are easy and kind of fun to do once you get the rhythm. Okay, so uh, let me talk about how the footwork goes first. Okay, so when you're at um, White Crane, you're at an empty stance ball touch. And all you're going to do is you're going to step wider. And then you're going to make a bow stance. Okay, so what this remind uh, I want to remind you of is when you made this empty stance, it should not be shorter, okay? It's the same length as your bow stance. So when it comes time for you to make the bow stance, all you're going to do is move it wider. Put your heel down, heel ball toe bend knee. Okay, and that's consistent with the idea of staying at the same height once you got into left ward off, right? So you want to try that? I'll do it in the same direction. I'll do it facing you so you can see better. So you were at ball touch, left foot forward, and all you're going to do is move this wider and make a bow stance, okay? So remember, as with all the bow stances, you have to keep your knees lined up with your toes, no collapsing the back or front knee, okay? You're gonna keep the quad open and then you're gonna make a good bow stance. Okay, now the hand. I'm going to show you what the move looks like in the direction you would be doing it so that you can get like the whole picture. Okay, so when you're here, what's going to happen is you're going to turn your hands. Then you're going to swing, step, brush, strike. Okay. So what you're going to do, I'm going to do it in this direction so you can see this hand better, okay? So what I'm going to do with the right hand is the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it so the palm is facing me. Then I'm going to swing, step. And then as I flatten my foot, the right hand comes to the shoulder, and as I shift my weight forward, I'm going to strike. So when, when I do it facing you, I'm at white crane, I'm going to turn it. So it's like I'm holding a mirror, I'm looking at 
a mirror in my palm. Then I'm going to swing. And you did the swing before when you did white crane. Remember when you were here, this swing right. is the same thing, except you're not going to make a circle. Uh -huh. You're sw just swinging out. And you also remember when you did the swing, you changed your elbow, right? Mm -hmm. You're going to do the same thing. Okay, so when you're swinging, I do not want to open up my chest, right? But I want to reach that corner. So how do I do that? If I just swing, I can only get to the side right? The only way I can make it to the corner is if I turn my waist. You see, my body is turning so that I can get my hand to the corner. Mm -hmm. So I'm swinging, but at the same time, I'm turning. See? I'm turning. And then my palm is facing out toward the corner. And when I turn, I look toward the dominant hand. Okay. So when I was here, I turn and then I swing. Okay. So the next part is that you're going to strike. So you did the swing, which is actually a kind of deflect. Then you come to your shoulder and your shoulder turns back toward the straight. And then you're going to strike. So the important thing is to keep that concave chest shape. Remember this shape? When I'm coming out here, I turn my waist so that I still maintain the chest shape. When I'm coming in, I do not open my chest, right? Okay, so think of it this way. I did the swinging and then my upper arm stays where it is. And all I'm doing is bending my elbow. And when I bend my elbow, what happens is, can you see? My elbow does not go beyond the plane of my back, right? Mm -hmm. It stays by my side. And that way I don't open up my chest. Wow. So when I did the swing and I come in and strike. And just like in... Um, single whip or any of these, your striking surface is at the base of your palm. Okay. So if I were doing it facing you, white crane, I turn my palm, swing, step, and then I come in and Okay, so a couple more times. You're doing it in your direction. Well, well, I'll do it in this direction because you'll see better. So from here, turn, swing, step, hand comes to the shoulder, and strike. Okay? So that's how it coordinates with your feet. You're here, you turn, you swing and step when you get to the end. Then as you flatten your foot, your hand is coming to the shoulder. And as you bend your knee, you are striking. So if you think of how your hand is swinging here, can you see you're making like three quarters of a circle. Mm -hmm. It looks kind of like three quarters of a circle, right? Mm -hmm. The other hand makes one quarter of a circle. 
Okay. The reason why the coordination is often difficult for people is you have one hand doing three quarters of a circle and the other hand doing one quarter of the circle and they have to stop at the same time. So the way the left hand works is when you are here, I'll do it in the same direction as you first, okay? This is resting by the side of your uh, leg, like opening, right? It's here. Mm -hmm. When I'm turning my hand here, this hand also turns. It turns this way. So the palm is facing that way. Mm -hmm. Why is it doing that? It's because it's going to come up and press down. So when I was here, I turned both hands. This one is facing me, and this one is facing that way. And then when I'm swinging here, this one is pressing down. So if I do it facing you, what happens is I was starting here, okay, I turn my hands, then this one goes up, this one goes down. Can you see that? So here, turn, up and down. Then when this hand comes to the shoulder, this one brushes out. Okay, so the right goes in, the left goes out. And then when the other, so here, I turn, I swing, step. Then one in, one out, here. When I'm here, my foot is flat in the front. Then when I strike, the left hand goes back where it was in the beginning. So if you look just at the left hand, the left hand started here, then it turns, you go back. press back. down, down. And open, and then comes back where it was, back to the same spot. Okay, so let's do just the left hand first, okay? So you're starting here, you turn, you come up and press down. That's your quarter circle, right? Mm -hmm. So when, you, when you're here and you come up and press down, you make your quarter circle, you step. Because at that point, you're here. You've done the swing on this side, so you, you're stepping. Then as you flatten your foot, then you're going to shift weight as you come down because you're striking with the other hand. Okay, so let's do the hands together without the feet first, okay? So if we're just looking at the hands, your turn hands, swing, One in, one out. Strike. Okay, once again. I'll do it in the same direction as you. So we're here. Turn hands. Swing. One in, one out. Strike and rest. Okay, any questions on that? <laughs> you have to, and then you have to get the feet too, of course. <laughs> but I wanted to make sure that you understood that when this comes here, this is out here. So that's how the coordination works. So turn, swing, step. One in and one out, 
strike. So basically, when this one was out, this was in. When this one is striking, the other hand goes in, right? So you're here, turn hands, swing, step, brush, strike. Yes? Yeah. <laughs> we need to do it a few more times. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to do it in this direction because this direction you can see this hand a little bit better. Okay, so from here, you're at empty stance, you're going to turn your hands. That's one. Two, you're going to swing, step. Then you're going to brush as you flatten your foot, and then you're going to strike and bend your knee. Yes, one more time in this direction. You're here, empty stance, left foot forward, and turn your hands. Then swing, step, brush, strike. So in terms of your body movement, here you're turning your hands. When you swing, your body follows the right hand. You're going to swing, step. So you're going to look at the right hand. Then you're going to turn back to square as you're brushing the front. And then you're going to bend your knee and strike. Now, one of the um, temptations when you're doing this is if you're here and you turn your hands and you swing step, uh, one of the problems is people overturn. They want to really get out there. I want you just to stay square to the front. Don't turn all the way over there. Okay? You're just going to you're just going to swing step. Okay? You you're going to end up square. Your shoulders are going to end up square. Your hips are actually open that way. Okay? Your hips are following the back foot. So your waist can turn a lot more than when your hips are in a given position. Okay. So the reason you want your hips to follow the back foot is it gives you a lot more stability. Okay. So let's go in the direction that you usually go. So you're in white crane. Mm -hmm. Turn your hands. Swing one up, one down, step. Brush. Strike. Yes, that feel pretty good. Okay. Rita, can you do a few more times? Yes. Okay, I'm going to do it in several directions, just so you can see different hands better and so on. Okay, so I'm going to do it first in the direction you would be doing it, which would be this way. In other words, if you were starting facing there, you would be here. Okay, so this is white crane. You're going to turn your hands. You're going to swing, step. Brush, strike, okay? And then in this direction, turn hand, swing, step, brush, strike. 
here. Turn hands. Swing. Step. Rush. Strike. So you should feel when you get to the strike, you're here, swing, step. When you get to the strike, you should feel the energy is coming off your back right leg. Strike, okay? You're bending your front leg, but the energy is coming from that heel. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. So one of the reasons why you have to synchronize upper and lower is if you don't, your energy will not come from your legs out your hand, which is the one of the basic principles, which is your energy comes from the earth. It comes through your legs, controlled by your waist, and it comes out your hand. And how does it come to your hands? It comes through your spine. So that's why you have to have that rounded shape. Because if you have a kink in your spine, your energy is not going to come out your hands. Okay. So let's try a few more times. Okay. In the direction that you would be doing it, it's here. Rotate your hand. Swing, step, brush, strike. Again, here, rotate, swing, step, brush, strike. Again. Rotate, swing, step, brush, strike. Okay, I'll do it that way. Rotate, swing, step, brush, Right. White crane. Rotate. Swing. Step. Brush. Strike. Now, I want you to think about having, about relaxing your limbs. Okay? So when you're here, I want you to think of swinging freely, you know, swing. And think about, it's as if you had energy that was just coming out your fingertips. So you're here, you turn, and you're letting it come out your fingertips, okay? So here, turn, swing. Okay, so your hand is facing out toward the corner. Out toward the corner, yep. Okay, so here, turn, swing. Okay, and on the other hand, you have this one. What you're going to do is, you were here, you're going to turn so it faces that way. Then up and press down. So the way to think of it is that the right hand is swinging from the shoulder. The left hand is swinging from the elbow. Because once you come up here, you see the turn is from the elbow. It's not from the shoulder, right? It's a smaller circle. It's only going a quarter. But this one is swinging from the shoulder, right? So that's one of the differences that one is the movement is at the elbow 
and the other one swing from your shoulder. Okay? So when you're coordinating it, you're turning, swing, step, brush, strike. Okay? So just like you want to have this relaxed feeling when you're swinging here, the same thing here. When you're coming down, you press down and open and come down. You're brushing off and come down. You're looking at from this angle. You, you're here, brushing out and come down. Okay, so it's a very controlled kind of movement. And the, the other thing you should remember is when you're here and you turn, when you, when this hand comes around, can you see that I still have space here? Mm -hmm. Okay, when I come here, I'm coming here. Can you see? I have space here. Okay, I'm not here. Okay, so everything stays open. Okay, so here, maybe you see better here. Okay, here, turn, step, then open. Okay, so just remember to make all your movements big. That's one of the properties of the Young family form is all your circles, everything circular and big. Okay, so one more time, we're here. Turn your hands, one up, one down, swing, step, one out, one in, flatten your foot, and shift, weight, strike. Once again, turn your hands, swing, one up, one down, step, sweep, strike. So think of it as the left hand is clearing the way while the right hand is getting ready to strike. So if you think of it that way, you have to turn, you have swing, step. Now the right hand is cocking to get ready to strike. So the left hand clears the way so that it has, so it's easier for it to strike, okay? And the reason why I want you to have the image of clearing the way is I want you to have a big open. Okay. There's some people who cheat and then they do this little thing. Or what happens is they come here and then they just come down. They don't clear the way for the other hand to strike. Okay. So when you're when you started here, you turn. Press down, clear the way, and then that allows the other hand to strike. Okay? <laughs> All right, so let's back up. Okay, let's go from um, raise hands. Or, okay, we can go from a single whip. Okay, so in the direction you would be going, Single whip is here, okay? Raise hands and step forward. Shift back, turn the left foot to the corner. Push off the ball of the right foot, circle. Come together, root the right heel and close. White crane spreads its wings. Rotate your arms. 
pull down all the way through to the back, circle, step and close, turn, step and open. Left brush knee, rotate your hand. Swing, step, brush, strike. How did that feel all together? Let's do it a few more times all lined up, okay? So once more from single whip. Single whip. Raise hands and step forward. Shift back. Turn the left toe to the corner. Push off the ball of the right foot. Circle your arms. Root the right heel. Close. White crane spreads its wings. Rotate your arms. Pull down all the way to the back. Circle. Step and close. Turn. Step and open. Left brush knee, turn your hands, swing, step, brush, strike. Yes? Okay. All right, let's do that one more time and then we'll do it from the beginning. Okay? So single whip. Raise, raise hands and step forward. Shift back. Left toe to the corner. Push off the right ball. Circle your arms. Root the right heel. Close. White crane spreads its wings. Rotate your arms. Pull down all the way to the back. Circle your arms. Step and close. Turn, step and open. Left brush knee. Rotate your hands. Swing, step, brush, strike. Yes? Okay, so let's do it from the beginning and then we'll close class, okay? So, feet shoulders width apart, head up, tailbone down, hands by your side, prepare. Opening, rotate your arms, lift up to shoulder level, then press down, almost to the bottom. Grasp the bird's tail, ward off left, shift. Left, turn right, all the way on the right. Step and close, turn and shift weight. Ward off right, shift right, turn the left toe to the corner. Pull left, ward off down right, pull in the right foot. Step and close, shift weight and separate. Roll back, rotate your arms as you reach to the corner. Circle back as you come to the other corner. Press, pull in the right. Attach the left, expand forward. Push, square up your shoulders and flatten your hands. Come back over a ball, hands in front of your chest. Push up to shoulder level. Single whip. Shift back as you flatten your hands. Turn and pull all the way around. Press down. Ward off left. Hook hand right. Standing ward off. Step. Deflect. Strike. Raise hands and step forward. Shift right. Turn the left toe to the corner. Push off the ball of the right as you circle your arms. Root the right heel and close. 
White crane spreads its wings. Turn your hands, pull down, all the weight in the back. Circle, step and close, turn, step and open. Left brush knee, turn your hands, swing, step, brush, strike. Okay, how did that feel? <laughs> you want to do it one more time? Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Yes, one more time and then we'll close. Okay. Yeah. Okay, here we are. Prepare. Head up, elbow and down, hands by your side. Opening, rotate your arms. Come up to shoulder level, then press down almost to the bottom. Grasp the bird's tail, ward off left. Shift left, turn right, all the way on the right, step and close, turn and shift weight. Ward off right, shift right, turn the left toe to the corner, pull left, ward off down right, Pull in the right foot, step and close, shift, weight, separate. Roll back, rotate your arms as you reach to the corner. Circle back as your weight shifts back and you move to the other corner. Press, circle in the right, attach the left, expand forward, push, Square up your shoulders, flatten your hands, come back over a ball, hands in front of your chest, push up to shoulder level. Single wick, shift black as you flatten your hands. Turn and pull all the way around. Press down, release the front foot, ward off with the left, hook hand with the right. Standing ward off, step, deflect, strike. Raise hands and step forward. Shift back, turn the left toe to the corner. Circle your arms, push off the right ball. Root the right heel and close. White crane spreads its wings. Rotate your arms. Pull down all the way to the back. Circle your arms. Step and close. Turn. Step and open. Left brush knee. Rotate your hands. Swing. Step. Brush. Strike. Okay. Yep. Now all you have to do is practice. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Thank you for coming to class. Thank and you. I'll see you next week. Bye. Thanks, I Rita. I, I, sort know, I sort of know how to do it, but it feels like I'm doing very awkward. Not like you're very smooth. I mean, it's like a sort of step by step by step. I gather that individually, but very awkward. Well, <laughs> the problem is the only way I can teach it to you to match up your upper and lower is right. step by step. Right. So when I say swing step, I want when the hand is out here, right. the foot is out, you know, and then when I come in, I want the so. So when when I'm here, right. I turn. When I say swing step, I want this uh -huh. to match up. Right. The idea is matching up. As I flatten my foot, match up to the hands being here. And as I bend my knee, I want to be striking. But when you do it, I want you to do it this way. 
okay? I don't want you to stop. Right, right, right. But, but I want you to have your hands and feet at those positions while you're not stopping. <laughs> I, I have a tendency to stop the thing whether it's the correct position or not. That's what makes me so awkward. Yeah. So okay. that's why you need practice. When you practice, you're going to train your body to make it automatic. Mm -hmm. You know, so you know that once you get to this position, my foot is automatically there. Right? So watching, watching you look so smooth and then watching me like almost on the wrong foot. <laughs> It just yeah. takes practice. <laughs> yeah, I know. But it is important that you get the stop, the stop motion at the right spot because otherwise you will lose your balance. Yeah, I know. I got it. Okay. I, I so, just, I just so don't lose your balance. That's not good. Okay. <laughs> look, look like look like a you don't look like a those a uh, ugly duck. <laughs> <laughs> so you know just if you if you think about swing step that's pretty easy right yeah. unless you flatten your foot just keep going forward once you've gone back this is the farthest back you're going to be right mm -hmm. when you when you hear that's as far back as going everything else is forward Right. So keep going forward. Yeah, you have to coordinate <laughs> with your hands and your feet and your mind. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And and part of it is that it's yin and yang. So when one hand is going up, the other hand's going down. It's not like both do the same thing. No, this one goes down and this one goes up, right? This one goes out and this one comes in. Right. This one goes forward and this one comes back. All right. So that's why. But on the bright side, that helps your balance. It's easier to balance when you have one in and you know one in and one out and so on. Practice, practice. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you, guys. <laughs> have, a, have a good weekend. See you next week. Okay. Bye. Have a nice Bye. weekend. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.